Hello friend, welcome to my uh, YouTube channel Open Source. In this uh, channel, I try to post uh, a small small piece of uh, code uh, which can help you a lot in a uh, big and complex programming. Today, I am going to post a very challenging and my first AI program which can identify a person inside a photo or compare uh, two persons in two photo if uh, the person is same in one uh, in two photo it will uh, return true or uh, if person is not same then it will return false so let us start the coding how is it uh, working and uh, uh, creating a project into a wind form for testing purpose then i will uh, lead it into a uh, a complete mobile app uh, by which a person can uh, make a attendance uh, from anywhere and it will record it into a HR systems uh, so they can manage this is the assignment I got from uh, and uh, the actual requirement is uh, in uh, in a company, there is uh, well, uh, many uh, people working in the field, and uh, the company want to track their uh, visit locations at what time they have visited a particular uh, or assigned locations. So, uh, my uh, job in this is to create a mobile app and uh, where a user can take their picture and. Uh, make a attendance from the remote locations uh, if uh, the pictures is the same in a database uh, same before then it will uh, record their attendance otherwise and, uh, it, and, and user cannot make a attendance so let us start as uh, you can see I have created a project in a win form and some examples I have I already copied uh, work before and just I am going to copy into one by one then so it uh, will not take more time and directly will go to the result so let's try the code and as you can see the uh, in a project I have created to uh, photo, photo in a win form and in a button click in uh, two button click I mm, want to select two pictures to compare so this is the first uh, button and uh, I have copied the code before so that it can self uh, save you a lot time so directly come to the result it's a very short become very short and here you just we are, I'm selecting a file nothing uh, as well is special is doing here so this is my picture picture one and this is the picture two so it's working until now good now I'm going to um, make a compare function so I can compare these two pictures and the person inside it so I have just created one uh, button in any program the naming convention is very important so always try to put a very clean and meaningful name for any control avoid to use a short form so main part will start from this compare function what is the, the logic uh, here the two pictures will convert it into an encoded form uh, through the plugins I downloaded from the NuGet 
one is a, a dot face compare dot net So here is the new gate. This these libraries I take help to create a uh, to compare a, a picture. So this is a face compare.net. In this plugin, you have to make some uh, configurations because it's work only on 64 bit cpu so you have to be change your uh, build on uh, any cpu to So it's uh, downloaded. Now change the any CPU to uh, 64 because this plugin only works on a 64 bit of CPU. And uh, the framework 4.5 and above. So this configuration you have to do before the execution of the program. Also, some uh, missing uh, folders are there where we are now going to configure it. This is the code. Just copy the paste. This is only six line uh, code. This is a common error. You have to be check this one where uh, we in any CPU folder is missing. That's why this error is coming. So what I will uh, I will do manually we uh, we will go to the package folder of this uh, project and manually we will create win dash any CPU folder and will copy some DLL as shown in the uh, video into it.
now uh, the all plugin have been installed and configured according to the requirement now uh, so the software is working fine right now what I will do I will copy the sub codes from the my previous test program and this is the only uh, six line of code the most important is the model folder as you can see this this is the model first we are, I have to take the reference just now I download from the NuGet this plugin and the models where the encoding format is there and this plugin is dependent on the this dot file you can download it from the nuget uh, or you can different type of uh, encoding files uh, supporting file is there you can uh, see these are the files so we need only one the face uh, configuration so it will automatically will uh, select the, the files especially this one uh, maybe choose by the plugin to uh, convert your uh, image into a encoding form so two image two image will uh, convert it into the encoding form as you can see the line first i uh, this line i just assign the folders where this uh, encoded library is there then this line i initialize the plugin face, uh, face recognizer on the And these three lines is very important so the you have to be right these three lines very carefully uh, now the second now the third line is start the load of pictures whatever you uh, selected in a button file then these loaded pictures converted into the encoding form and second is the same process and it is also uh, converted into the encoding form now this in in this message uh, I'm going to compare these two encoded value as uh, we are going to test this uh, software because it is already now this is the same picture and this this is some error because the of the library is not the same folder so what i have to what i have to do is uh, copy these all models into a bin folder okay now I copied uh, and remove this existing one. Now it's time to check because software is uh, ready. This is the first test same photo with the same person. If the encoding match, then it will return true, else it will return, return false. So as you can see, it's returned true because the picture, uh, the man, uh, the man inside the picture is the same. Now I will change the photo, but person is the same. Now it's true as you can see the picture is different, but uh, person is the same now the, again picture is different but uh, person is the same that is me and it should come true 
yes we yeah, are well done this is uh, coming to now i'm going to compare it with the different persons so, so i will download some uh, image from the google suppose this i'm going to download and one more this one okay now this one looks more different so i will download this one now going to change the pictures and also person will be changed so the result should come false now this one obviously the result will be false okay as you can see this is the false well done and this is the, the also different person so it's also will come false now the program is perf working perfectly so this is my first ai program and uh, i will uh, convert it into the mobile apps so subscribe my uh, channel and also like share and check always check this channel for the update so this is enough for today hope uh, you like this uh, very small very useful software nowadays very famous for uh, the mobile apps logging and uh, else, uh, elsewhere so right now my company want to track the, the employee locations uh, where he visited uh, and assigned to visit so this uh, small window program i just created uh, for testing purpose how it is working as uh, next video i will convert into a mobile apps so thanks to watching this of uh, this uh, video i will uh, request to the all that uh, subscribe this channel and like it and share it with your friend if you like uh, if you like this uh, small but very useful coding thank you very much now to look picture is different with different size but the lady is the same that's why it's coming true so you so we have done now welcome to, uh, to your first ai program